Traces of an ancient branch of the Nile were found, which could have been used to transport materials for the construction of the pyramids. Geological research has uncovered an ancient branch of the Nile that ancient Egyptian builders may have used to transport materials needed to build the pyramids. The long dried branch is 64 kilometers long and was named by the discoverers Aramat, which means pyramids. The famous pyramids in Egypt lie on the edge of the inhospitable western desert, part of the Sahara. But at a time when huge structures were being built, the Nile had much larger flows, and in places the river split into several branches. Archaeologists have previously speculated that one of these branches may have flowed past the site of the pyramid's construction, but this has never been confirmed. Until now. In the journal Communications Earth and Environment, scientists described the discovery of a 64 km long branch of the Nile that ran next to the famous Giza Pyramid Complex. It was hidden beneath desert sands and farmland for millennia and may explain how the ancient Egyptians transported massive stone blocks to build the pyramids. Professor Eman Gonaim of the University of North Carolina and her colleagues looked through satellite images to try to find a long-forgotten branch of the Nile near the pyramid complex. On this basis, they selected several potential locations. While on site, they used geophysical surveys and collected soil samples to confirm the existence of river sediments and ancient channels beneath the surface indicating the presence of a former branch. Along this 64 km stretch, which the explorers called Aramat, which means pyramids in Arabic, 31 such structures were built. Additionally, the authors found that many of the pyramids had causeways ending at the proposed banks of the Aramat branch, which they believe is evidence that the river was used to transport building materials. No one was sure of the location, shape, size, or proximity of this waterway to the actual site of the pyramids, said Gonaim, the study's lead author. With the disappearance of the branch, ancient Egyptian cities and towns have also disappeared, and we have no idea where to look for them now, she added. Scientists have linked the increased accumulation of wind-blown sand into the branch bed to a severe drought that occurred 4,200 years ago. As the drought intensified, water levels in the Aramat branch dropped rapidly, eventually causing it to disappear completely. Researchers do not know when exactly this happened. The Aramat branch was quite large. Scientists believe that it could have been up to half a kilometer wide. The river itself is also susceptible to migration. Over the last few hundred years, the Nile has moved several kilometers eastward, probably due to the movement of tectonic plates. A similar process may have stopped the flow of water into the Aramat branch in earlier centuries. Scientists have long debated the significance of the location of the pyramids. The waterway running right next to them may have been an important factor in this choice of construction site, because it simply provided builders with a convenient way to transport materials. This concept is also supported by some surviving records from the time, which suggest that building materials were transported on boats. Knowing the location of the former branch of the Nile will allow for new research to be carried out, which may discover previously unknown settlements and monuments. Since 1970, the population of freshwater migratory fish has declined by 80%. Populations of migratory freshwater fish, including salmon, trout, eel, and sturgeon, are decreasing rapidly. New findings show that since 1970, 
the number of these species has decreased by over 80 percent. This decline threatens the food security and livelihoods of millions of people around the world. From small mountain streams to the largest rivers in the world, migratory fish cover huge distances, often returning to the stream where they were born. These species are the primary source of food and livelihood for millions of people around the world. But humans have been disrupting fish migrations for centuries by building dams and limiting their habitats, leading to declines in their populations. In the New Living Planet Index for Migratory Freshwater Fishes report, researchers have updated information on migratory fish migration. The document shows that populations of freshwater migratory fish have declined dramatically over the last 50 years. This applies to all parts of the world, but it is happening most rapidly in South America and the Caribbean, where the number of these species decreased by as much as 91% during the analyzed period. The second region that has experienced the greatest decline in migratory fish populations is Europe. On the old continent, the number of migratory species has decreased by 75%. The report analyzed population trends of 284 freshwater fish species. Scientists have noted that the decline may have occurred before 1970, but there is no data to support this. There is no data for Africa either. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, a quarter of freshwater fish species are at risk of extinction with migratory fish species being more affected. The catastrophic decline in migratory fish populations is a deafening wake-up call for the world. We must act now to save these key species and their rivers, said Herman Wanningen, founder of the World Migratory Fish Foundation. Migratory fish play a key role in the cultures of many indigenous peoples, provide a staple food for millions of people around the world, and support a vast network of species and ecosystems. We cannot continue to allow them to die silently, he added. Dr. David Jacoby from Lancaster University said, the report confirmed widespread concerns about freshwater reservoirs, but the scale of decline, both regionally and globally, is shocking. Several factors are responsible for the decline in the population of migratory fish species. Many rivers no longer flow in their former channels. Much has been shortened. The authors of the report primarily point to the fragmentation of rivers as the main cause of the decline in the population of migratory fish, through the construction of dams and other barriers that block the migration of species. There are an estimated 1.2 million barriers on European rivers alone. Among other causes, the authors of the report mention pollution of watercourses by urban and industrial sewage or runoff of polluted water from roads and agriculture. In addition, climate change forces some species to change their habitats, which are already limited by the regulation of river beds and the adaptation of areas for cultivation. We should also mention excessive fishing. Migrating fish are critical to the food security and nutritional needs of hundreds of millions of people, particularly in communities in Asia, Africa, and South America. They also support the livelihoods of tens of millions of people, from local fisheries to global trade, as well as the multi-billion dollar recreational fishing industry. The authors of the report call for better long-term monitoring of the situation of migratory fish species, the renaturalization and protection of rivers, and the removal of dams and barriers. Last year, a record 487 barriers were removed in 15 European countries. Conservation efforts and better management of fisheries can also have positive effects. The authors indicate in the report that the number of almost one-third of the monitored species has increased. 
Researchers also suggest restoring habitats and creating nature reserves, as well as legal protection, as effective tools for fish conservation.